study consultant and head at the department of nuclear medicine apollo hospital navi mumbai nuclear medicine is a branch of medicine which deals with use of radio pharmaceutical or radioactive medicine for diagnostic and therapeutic applications in diagnostics we do scans to assess the function of various organs so diagnostic scans are done either on a gamma camera or pet ct scanner at apollo hospital we have pet ct scanners pet ct stands for positron emission tomography as the name suggests the dye which we are using has an ability or a property to emit positrons that is positively charged electrons which subsequently give rise to annihilation photon which are detected by the detector so pet ct scan has got two components the pet part and the ct part the pet part gives us the functional information while ct part gives us the morphological information whenever a disease starts the changes initially occur at the molecular level then at the cellular level tissue level organ level functional level and subsequently the changes occur in the morphology in the structure and size of the organ so pet ct scan by identifying changes at the functional level much before those changes occur at the structural level have an ability to detect disease much earlier than what a routine ct scan would have picked up so the most common applications of pet ct scan are in oncology so in can whenever a patient is diagnosed with cancer we would like to know where the disease has spread to the body because depending upon the extent of spread the patient would be initially offered either a surgery chemotherapy or radiotherapy now the cancer cells unlike normal cells are rapidly proliferating the rate of growth is very high so the glucose requirement is also very high so the dye which we are using in pet scan is fdg that is fluorodeoxyglucose it is very similar to radioactive uh, routine glucose molecule but we add f18 fluorine ad which makes it radioactive so the can the whenever you inject the patient with this fdg it circulates in the body it is taken up by the normal cells also and by the cancer cells also but the extent to which it is taken by the cancer cell is going to be much higher than that of a normal cell so after injecting the patient is in waiting area for one hour in this one hour the uh, cancerous tissue takes up the dye but there is hardly any wash out but normal tissues will take up the dye and there is going to be wash out also so at the end of one hour when we scan the patient the cancerous cells will be seen as hot spot on the scan and ct scan will help to localize and characterize those hot spots so this is the basis on which a pet ct scan is done for cancer imaging uh, apart from staging that is assessing the extent of disease pet ct scan can also be used to assess the treatment response for example if a patient is supposed to undergo six cycles of chemotherapy we will do a baseline pet ct scan and after two to three cycles of chemotherapy again a pet scan is done to know whether the patient is responding or no in case the pet scan is showing good response then the chemotherapy is continued in case the response is not good then the chemotherapy may be discontinued and alternate or second line of chemotherapy is advocated to this patient so by changing the chemotherapy you are not sub you are subjecting the patient to a futile chemotherapy regimen and subjecting him to additional toxicity by identifying there is no response you change the medicine at the right time and patient will benefit maximum from this coming to follow up of the patients pet ct whenever uh, there is disease recurrence when a recurrence is suspected when there is lump formation or there are new symptoms which are coming up or certain blood tests called as tumor markers are increasing then in this scenario to know whether the disease has come back again and if it has come back again where all it has spread again a pet ct scan is done so this is called as a restaging application of pet ct scan apart from cancer imaging uh, pet ct scan has got applications in infection imaging also so unlike cancer cell the inflammatory and infective cells the macrophages also have ability to pick up this dye so whenever we have a patient who is uh, who is having fever for a long time and all the investigations uh, are not helping us to arrive at a diagnosis then in this scenario also pet ct scan can be identi- uh, can be used by identifying the infective focus it can help the tailor treatment to the patient apart from infection imaging it has applications in cardiology also sometimes there is infiltration uh, infiltrative disease of the myocardium that is the heart muscles like sarcoidosis in which a pet ct scan can help you to know which uh, what is the extent of the disease involvement of the myocardium it also helps to assess the response in case a patient has got a heart attack 
and patient is planned for angioplasty or bypass, it is very important to know whether the remaining heart uh, cells in the affected area, whether it is completely dead or it is still alive. Because if it is already dead, there is no point in doing the angioplasty or bypass and patient's function, cardiac function won't improve. However, in case there is any living tissue in the affected area, then by doing a bypass or angioplasty, definitely the improve, there is going to be improvement in cardiac function. So this is another application of PET CT scan to identify viable myocardium and to predict whether patient is going to benefit from angioplasty or bypass surgeries. PET CT scan also has application in neurology. In neurology, there are certain conditions in which patient loses his memory, there is going to be memory loss, his day-to-day -day activity is affected, we call it dementia. So there are various causes of dementia. By doing a PET scan and identify certain patterns, we can come to know what could be the cause of dementia in this patient and accordingly the appropriate treatment will be given to patient. So these are the applications of PET CT scan and nuclear medicine in diagnostics. However, in nuclear medicine, there are therapeutic applications also where radioactive medicine is used to treat the patients. For example, in case a patient has got CA thyroid and has been operated, the thyroid gland has been removed, then to update the remaining tissue, a high dose iodine therapy is given. Sometimes patient has got Graves disease, hyperthyroidism, then again to treat these patients, radioactive iodine is given to the patients. There are certain liver cancers when they are not operable, then uh, Y90 or yttrium 90 based transarginal radioembolization is done, that is done to treat liver cancers. Apart from that, in carcinoma prostate where most of the chemotherapy or hormonal therapy have been exhausted and patient is still showing disease progression, then lutetium or actinium based PSMA therapy is also advocated and PET CT has, and nuclear medicine has got application in these cancers also. Apart from that, there are special kind of cancer cells called as a neuroendocrine tumor in which lutetium based DOTA therapy is also advocated. At Apollo hospitals, we are offering PET CT diagnostic services, we are offering iodine therapy for remnant ablation, we are offering iodine therapy for Graves disease, we are also offering bone pain palliation in case patient has got metastatic disease. Apart from that, we are also doing lutetium based PSMA and DOTA therapy. Thank you.